guys welcome back to my channel welcome to fish academy is your humble friend kufre ibanga francis founder first fish academy uh, today i'm right away in ghana where we constructed this ultra modern super uh, uh, super ultra modern fish farm 100 000 capacity and right here today happens to be the ninth day of december 2021 a project that we kick started february 2021 i want to let you guys know that the project has been fully completed we completed this project that was november 2021 i'm going to walk you around so that you see different compact departments that we have in this facility which you are going to appreciate you know one thing about us is that there is no project given to us awarded to us that we don't complete this project was awarded to us and we we started this project from site clearing to completion today we are happy to announce that the project is being completed and delivered and then i am here to uh, to train the staff that has been employed to work in this facility on how to manage on how to produce both the feed both the fish and also to manage the fries and the grow our fish even to marketing point that is one reason i am here the project is being completed so let's quickly move straight to the first department in this facility okay so the first department in this office don't forget this farm has already been given a name for those of you that have been following us on this channel, this is Praba Farms, Ghana. So the first department, when you come to this facility, the first place that you are to go is the office. And then in this facility, we build an office where they will be receiving both customers, guests, clients, and every other person. This is where... Don't forget, I said I'm going to move you around so that you see the different departments we have in this facility all right so this facility yes has been completed as you can see with tile everything with burglaries and all that but we have some people that do sleep here at the moment because the farm has not fully kick-started the way it ought to be so once this farm fully kick-start and then the farmhouse in this facility is completed the workers that are now sleeping in the office will move to the farmhouse so this is the first place and then the second place we have here don't forget that we we have uh, the store so we still have so many things inside as i said a lot of workers are still making use of the space because the farmhouse is still under construction the store is a very big one where they are going to be putting where they are going to be storing the raw materials that is going to be used for feed production and then in here right here the fact this uh this uh this is the uh, the door to this other product to the production house all right we they have to break out what was actually here because the machine we were expecting was not as big as this so my client decided to order a mighty machine which i'm going to tell you the capacity of the machine that is in here so you can come inside all right so this this ligma ligma uh, a feed machine i tell you this ligma people this is one of the uh, uh the uh, adverts that the youtube usually show on my channel in fact i guess my client from the advert got this machine ligma you got one from me all right ligma all right so what is actually the capacity of this machine and how was it moved into this place with the way it is you know it was a lot of work all right that's why the door was broken so you can come inside okay right inside here we have a machine bike motorcycle which belong to one of the workers all right and then it has nothing to do here they just have to pack it in here all right i just want to show you around all right so we have the machine itself 
as you can see, is an industrial machine. I can call this machine industrial because this is so, so, so mighty big, man, that it is capable of feeding this farm and so many neighboring farms in Ghana. So that's why I call it industrial. It's an industrial machine that is capable of producing at least 800 kg per hour. Do you hear that? I said 800 kg. On the line that 800 kg of feed in an hour, which means it can produce per 15 kg a bag, can produce up to 426 bags in eight hours. So it's a big machine. <laughs> it's a big machine. I guess, I guess my clients also have intention of um, selling out some of the product from this particular farm. Don't forget, I'm still going to walk you. I've not even shown you the main thing yet. I'm still going to walk you there. So this is um, the mixer. When the raw materials is being um, put, they turn in the raw materials in here after it has been scaled. Don't forget, after it has been scaled, they put them in here and then the mixing happens in here. Uh, that is how it works. We have the hammer mill, the pulverizer and every other stuff. Everything is in here. So the complete line for production is here. Let me not waste much time in here. So let me quickly take you to another department that we still have in front. I'm, I'm trying to just show you what we have in front here. All right. Entering through the next door, we have the ashery section. This is where we have the ashery section. All right. And right here we have six models. This is where fingerlings production is going to be done. Where, when the eggs is be, when the fish is being injected during uh, spawning, uh, we spawn and then we spray the eggs on a kakaban right in here. We are going to train the, the workers, as I said earlier, on how to do all those stuff. That is one of the reasons why I am in this facility this time around this festive period because this farm have to start we don't need to wait until it is january the farm is starting in my under my nose right here so that's why i am here all right so we have the ashtray models and it has been fully treated but soon to discharge the wastewater from the uh, models all right so i'm gonna walk you down so i'm going to walk you at another department that we still have in front here all that i'm showing you right here is what we have in front we have something behind all right so still in front here by the left left hand side we have the nursery uh, pond we have the nursery pond and then the last time the last time i made a video from this farm i and my client were actually in this particular point. In fact, I was here and my client was there. So we actually discussed and I told my client, this is what this place is meant for, which my client was very, very happy. This is the nursery pond, as big as what uh, some farms have as their main models for grow out fish. And we have, um, uh, we have like, uh, uh, seven of it right here all right we have seven of it right in here capable of producing at least um, um uh, 50 000, uh, uh, post fingerlings in each of these models all right so that is what it we have the front door and then the back door the back is an exit so any at any side you are taking in any side you want to use into the farm you can do that so i i this I'm, i want to walk you into the grow out session using this walkway because we decided to make this like this all right so that when you come when you come to the farm when you come into the farm or when you come maybe you want to have a business here in the facility all you need to do after you've discussed all you need to discuss in the office 
after you discuss all you need to discuss with the management right here in the office the management may decide to take you to where they have the grow out fish they are not going to walk you through all those other parts you expect me they are going to walk you through here so this is how we did this place all right so you enter through here you are now a visitor you are a visitor your your friend want to show you his farm or you are a customer your client or your uh, partner want to show you where the place is you moving through here so this is here there are so many exits into this place or so many entrance into this place so right here before we move to where we have the grow up pond, we have our reservoir we have our reservoir and as i speak there is water inside i wish the camera can you just take the camera up there is water inside this uh, reservoir as i speak there is water in there i believe you can see that all right it's water inside the reservoir and then that's that with the uh with the uh with the building in front all right so through here we now have the almighty modules where we are going to be producing the almighty fish all right when i said the almighty fish the bigger fish all right so entering through this entrance we have 20 mighty models that is going to be used to produce um, 100 thousand fish either four times in a year or you may decide to produce based on the size that you are looking at but what we are looking at here is to produce 5,000 fish per models and then 100,000 fish in total being that we have 20 models in this facility all right so as you can see is 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 you don't need you've you've seen so many of our projects now you've seen a lot of our project so i don't even need to begin to explain that this is this or this is that this is this we've constructed a hundred thousand capacity fish farm in anambra in nigeria we have constructed a, a hundred and five thousand capacity fish farm in imo state in nigeria we have constructed a thirty thousand capacity fish farm in enugu state nigeria we have constructed a fifty thousand capacity fish farm in imo state nigeria we have constructed um, uh, we've done a remodeling of a 45,000 capacity fish farm in Abia State Nigeria we've done uh, I can so numerous project we've handled all right and currently we have an ongoing project we have an ongoing project in Imo State which has been put on hold due to the fact that materials have not been moved to site due to the access road where we are going to construct a 200,000 capacity ultra modern fish farm that project is going to continue once the access road is okay to move material in there and also this after we this is our project which as i said earlier we started from site clearing till finishing having completed this project I want to announce to you guys again that we have another contract to execute here in Ghana, a 20,000 capacity super ultra modern fish farm, which is ongoing. As I speak with you, excavation is ongoing right there on site in Pram Pram area of Ghana. All right, don't forget, I'm currently making this video from Ghana and this is the most modern farm here in Ghana if there's another one please quote me wrong by dropping a video or the name of that farm using the comment section so that we can so that that can actually uh, cancel what I have just said but aside that this is the most biggest modern inland farm in Ghana constructed by first fish Academy all right so let me walk you through so this is the first second as i said and then we have our overflow pipes all right we have our overflow pipes and then we have our our uh, discharge valves all right hidden underground 
all right, so that you don't need to see a lot of things when you enter into this. This is like a company, so when you enter into this place, a lot of things should not be pronounced, all right? That's why a lot of things are underground. A lot of things on this facility are underground, all right? Because it's been specially built, even to avoid maintenance. People say, how are you going to do this? How are you going to do this? Everything has been considered, consider, uh, building this farm. So let me quickly take you back so that you even see the the RAS, the filter that we have for this facility. Don't forget, as I've said on my video, right now we have water in each of the modules except for we have water in each of the modules filled to capacity. All right. So I told you guys earlier that we have water challenges here. I let I went back to my drawing board. How are we going to solve this problem? And we we're able to solve that problem. We came up with a robust, massive filter, ultra modern. RAS for this facility, all right, which I am going to show you uh, uh, behind, all right, so you can come with me while I walk it down to show you the RAS system that is going to be filtering this water, purifying, we're going to do uh, filtration, purification, treatment, and then returning of those water back into these models. So you can see, these are projects, First Fish Academy project. Don't be, there is no project given to us that we don't complete. We have always completed every project. All right. This is our job. This is our exit. After the long walk, after the long walk, the long walk, you get to a T junction inside the farm. All right. You get to a T point where you can either take your left or you take your right or you take anywhere you wish to take after the long walk from the exit, from the entrance. All right. So this is it. This is it. We can actually do this for you. All right, this is Ghana. No matter where you are watching us from, we can come there and duplicate, do the same thing, even bigger than this. All right, the, our biggest farm we are, we are constructing is the 200,000 capacity. We can, there is no cap, uh, farm, there is no capacity that you have in mind that we cannot actually handle and then deliver. All right. So, right, right here is where we have the filter.